hello students in previous lecture we have seen about the implantation and before that we have uh, seen the fertilization so in this lecture we will see the development of fertilized ova this we have discussed previously as the mature ovum will release from the ovary on the 14th day that is the ovulation phase then the graafian follicle will rupture and it will uh, grasp by the fimbriae of fallopian tube by forming the corpus luteum into the ovary ovum travels along the uterine tube and reaches in the isthmus this is the matured ovum secondary oocyte the male gamete these forms which are deposited in the posterior fornix of the vagina mature sperm has the head with acrosomal cap body and tail these are the layers of mature ovum where the sperm will bind with the zona pellucida with the acrosomal reaction that is by secreting hyaluronidase acid the sperm will break the zona pellucida and it will enter in the cell membrane of the oocyte this is the male pronucleus now over some cortical granules so it will block the ovary that is the uh, entry of other sperms will be restricted this is the female pronucleus which is under uh, the uh, phase of maturation it will form the second polar body and one mature ovum will be developed so this is one the female pronucleus and another one is the male pronucleus which are haploid they will fuse together to form a diploid cell called as zygote then cleavage and blastocyst formation it is the single cell which continues to divide in uh, by the two cell stage it occurs on the third, uh, 30 hours after uh, fertilization then four cell stage eight cell stage stage of course after after fertilization eight cell now a cluster of cell sixteen cells that is the morula it forms on the third day and now early blastocyst which has the inner cell mass blastocyst cavity and the trophoblast this is implant Blastocyst will form a loose connection between the endometrium, that is the opposition, and 
implantation starts when the blastocyst enters it float there for few days to look for the nourishment in the uterine cavity and wherever it found good nourishment there it starts to implant so site of the implantation is the posterior wall of the upper uterine segment now we will see the attachment of blastocyst projections will appear on the trophoblast they will erode into the endometrium now the whole or trophoblast is inside the endometrium that is invasion has been taken place here means the implantation is completed that was started on the 6th day and which is completed on the 11th day after fertilization now the inner cell mass and trophoblastic layer will uh, start to divide new blood vessels will be formed the inner cell mass will develop into the endometrium myometrium and sorry the inner cell mass will divide into endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm and the trophoblastic layer will be uh, differentiate into sensitive trophoblast and cytotrophoblast like you need these are the empty spaces they will uh, turn into the blood vessel when uh, the blood supply will be uh, supplied by the uterine artery primary chorionic villi now developed on the trophoblast amnion and epiblast hypoblast they are formed by the inner cell mass on the day 12 to 13 oh uh, sensitive trophoblast and cytotrophoblast will start to develop then formation of primary germ cell amniotic cavity is formed now on the day 13 to 14 formation of definitive endoderm now we will see the development of inner cell mass
so in blue color it is the ectoderm in red color mesoderm and in the yellow color it is the endoderm they have formed a bilaminar germ disk which has the cranial end and caudal end first notochord will be developed that is the spinal cord then oropharyngeal membrane neural plate first we will see the formation of notochord that is the spinal cord primitive stick will uh, convert into the umbilical cord later on now the notochord has been developed here now we will see the further uh, development of uh, the inner cell mass amniotic cavity is now formed this body stock will uh, now convert into the umbilical cord which will connect the fetus with the placenta yolk sac will disappear after a few months of development
now the fetus has salamander look the inner cell mass is further dividing to form some uh, uh, body structures it has two end caudal and caudal end is the uh, at side the foot and the cephalic end at the head Now the embryo has the salamander look. 